amazing to be in the kitchen giving you recipes and ideas anyway I just make you a simple one this one is beef curry you can make this one at home I use the Jamaican the Jamaican valley curry powder so basically if you want to get your valley curry powder guys please visit their website at www.jamaicavalley.com and you can use this code C-H-E-F-R-I-C-1-2-3 and you get 10% off when you purchase anything on their website so guys stay tuned follow the recipe and you can make this at home come on lovely tasty and nice just as mine enjoy the recipe subscribe to the YouTube channel follow me on Twitter Facebook Google plus me and get a lot more recipe I love you all and stay tuned nice and lovely so basically we're gonna make a Jamaican beef curry and I know you guys will love this one it's with some plain rice non bread bits and pieces we're going to go with it so please subscribe to the YouTube channel as I say I'm using the Jamaican Valley curry, curry powder to making this lovely lovely beef curry all right so let's get started first thing what I would do when I'm gonna make my I will make sure I wash off the beef already get it see you're gonna get it seasoned up and washed off with some lemon juice or lime juice I got some fresh thyme so I'm gonna pop on some fresh thyme on it like this that's the fresh thyme right there I got some spring onion I'm not gonna be using all of the spring onion I'm gonna be using a few of the spring onion because I love my vegetable and I know you guys will definitely see exactly where I'm talking about right here I have some red onion you don't have to use you can use a white one if you all do so if it doesn't have the red one it doesn't matter which one you want to use guys and what I'm going to do I'm just gonna be cutting it very finely nice one and I got two cloves of garlic for flavor So basically you can go to any local shop, buy yourself some beef, bring it home and make yourself a nice lovely curry beef. I got two potatoes which I'm going to be using. And I have one medium sized tomato. Also, I have one medium sized carrot, which I'm going to be using. Because I love my vegetable. And I know everything will be cooking now. I got a piece of the ginger, which I'm also going to be using. So what I'm going to do, I'm just gonna remove the skin from the ginger, guys which I should do that a little bit earlier but that's fine never too late so I'm gonna remove the skin from the ginger and I'm gonna find that in the ginger also lovely then next I'm going to put some some pepper you can put some scotch bonnet pepper if you like too um, most you know when we had the beef curry or curry chicken and all these things you know I put our our pepper and all these things so what I'm going to do is crack a little bit of pepper nice one as I can see that's looking lovely and nice so far then I have some Jamaican pimento seed which I'm going to be popping a few on it bringing a lovely flavor to it also I love my pimento, I always cook it with pimento also I have some dry thyme which I'm going to be using just a little pinch of dry thyme, you don't need to put too much it's just to bring in a little flavor to the food I got some chili, I'm gonna put in a little bit of dry chili not too much second thing I'm going to put in all of my favorite seasoning which I like to use cook with them I've been cooking with these seasons over the last months now and honestly my food them start to look dusty you know I mean everything just look different I'm gonna put on some all-purpose season 
one and a half teaspoon of the all-purpose season and I'm gonna show you how to cook this lovely curry this beef curry today and next is some jerk season I'm gonna put one teaspoon of the jerk season one and a half teaspoon then this is what I'm talking about the curry powder now all right so I'm going to be using two teaspoon of the curry powder one two all right that's what you need to do two teaspoon is very good to use second thing I'm gonna put in olive oil or vegetable oil no matter oil I want to use roughly about a teaspoon all right next thing make sure you got gloves It's very important when you and you have home and you do a certain kind of dish like this you need to have gloves it's very important guys when you have gloves you can get to move around and do things so I'm gonna be massaging up my beef and curry you now by simple rub it up like this you might have said chef ricardo is only roughly just a handful of beef two and about two handful of beef i've been doing i'm not doing a lot today i'm just you know what i mean but i'm putting a lot of vegetable because i love vegetable guys honestly so just massage up the meat like this and get in the flavor inside of it so we're doing a nice lovely curry beef curry right here and it's looking so lovely and nice take a good look look at that all right that's exactly what we are talking about take a good look with all of the season and everything and it just curry them up come out lovely and nice look at that exactly what chef ricard have been talking about so what we're going to do i'm going to be putting down this about two hours and let it soak and then i'm gonna cook it to show my fans them all right so get your meat seasoned up and put it on for two hours or if you want to leave it for the next day and cook it the next day is up to you but i'm gonna put make that so for two hours and cook it for you guys enjoy the recipe from chef ricardo cooking show nice one so basically guys i just take it back from the fridge and this is the way it look so now i'm going to show you how to cook it all right so remember we use the jamaican valley curry powder don't forget to know go to jamaica valley website jamaicavalley.com and use the code chef rick c-h-e-f-r-i-c one two three i will put it everything in the description box where you guys can purchase your own curry powder to make your beef curry at home just like this let's cook so basically medium sized pot on the stove empty nothing inside of it and all I'm going to do is simple pop a little bit of my virgin oil inside of it just a tiny little bit of oil not too much inside of the pot now I'm going to get my beef which I just marinate and let it soak for two hours. I'm gonna simply put it in now and we're going to cook it. I'm going to bring in a lovely flavor. The taste and everything is going to be really nice. Because the only thing I can say to you, I'm not using the part of the beef for you know how to cook. I'm using the part like a sterling steak bit, really soft and nice to cook. You can do the one with the bone. I'm using the boneless beef at the moment, so it's very easy to cook. Alright, so I'm just putting everything inside of the pot. And I'm gonna show you how you can do yourself a lovely Jamaican beef curry for yourself at home for you and your kids, your family, and everyone going to love it. Guys, I love the recipe from Chef Ricardo. And I know the fans that will love this one. Alright guys, just don't go anywhere. Watch the video and I'm gonna show you how you to cook this one. So first thing, make sure your beef curry is in the pot. Alright? And second thing is 
as you can see looking good already as I say it's not gonna take long to cook very easy to cook guys seriously all right take a good look so that look nice it's only chef record alone if you added them to you right now may I tell you it's amazing to know right now the scent of the beef smell amazing so what we're going to do is cover it like this and we're going to allow it for it to sweat because when you cover the beef and it's sweat it's going to bring its own juice its own liquid and it's going to be good to cook nicely as it goes along the scent alone smells amazing so far guys honestly so nice and lovely over the last two minutes i've been stirring it so let's take a good look looking good smell nice look at that beautiful and nice beef curry cover it allow it to go on sweat in the meantime you can boil your kettle and get some hot water ready so that's what i'm going to do nice and lovely so basically take a look you see that yeah curry is cooking i have on a medium size eat and i'm using a non-stick pan so you know it won't stick and burn up so what we're going to do we're going to put some liquid inside of it like this and i'm using the boiled water so what happened now if you notice Yeah. What you want to do, you want to taste your curry to see if it got the flavor you're looking for. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a teaspoon and I'm going to taste it. You know what happened? To be honest, the only thing I would put in this curry, yeah, is a little bit more of the, the Jamaican body all purpose season. Just a little pinch more, not too much. So I'm using the all purpose season from the Jamaican body. So that's gonna bring in the rest of flavor to, the, to this nice, lovely beef curry. So as I notice, it is cooking down, lovely and nice. Whole of vegetable, the sauce look good. So what we're going to do is cover it like this. Can the beef not going to take long to cook? The beef is very easy to cook. Nice and lovely. So basically what we're going to do is just pop. A little bit of ketchup inside of it. You can put more ketchup if you like, but I'll just pop a little bit of ketchup inside of it to bring in a lovely flavor to it also. Look at that. What we're going to do, cover it and allow it for it to cook for a nice good 10 minutes. Nice and lovely. So basically, let me show you what I want. Let me look at time. See? Yeah, man, I like that. I like it with a lot of sauce. Nice and lovely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, when you want to know your meat is cooked, it's simple. Take out a little piece of the beef and use a fork or something and just stick it like this. But me, I know my meat is already cooked because I can see it. Look at this. You see? Soft. Tearing apart. That means the meat is cooked. Roughly about 20 minutes I'm having been on a medium sized cooking. I want to shear it out. I don't want to go, I don't want to jog it out too much. I want to shear it out on a plate to show the pan them. Oh this look. Alright, take out my plate and I'm ready and I'm good to go. Turn off my stove now and that's it. Medium sized eat cooking. Now I'm gonna shear it out. Nice and lovely. So basically, I just finished the curry. Start to plate it up already, as you can see. This is the rice. 
Now what we're going to do is to get the curry. As I said, it is some nice, lovely beef curry, guys. Honestly, it's an amazing recipe. As you can see, it got a lot of vegetable. Cause I love my vegetable, honestly. Then I just garnish it off with some fine spring onion. That's exactly what I'm talking about right here. So please enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Just take a good look at that. That is amazing recipe. Subscribe, like, share, tell a friend, and a friend, tell a friend, you got the non bread, we got the beef curry, and we got the rice, little bit of vegetable at the side with some avocado, good to go. Enjoy, subscribe, like, and share, tell a friend, and a friend, tell a friend, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.